Cagney and Joshua I have a book for you and the other kids can watch it too but I think that you boys might really like this dinosaur book what kind of dinosaur do you see on there mm, well let's read the book and find out some more long ago before the world had cars or roads before there were houses or cities a big brown dinosaur egg lay at the edge of a huge forest. There it is. Let's see what's going to happen. From inside the egg came a tap, tap, tap. Then there was a crack, and out climbed a baby. What kind? Stegosaurus. Did you say that? One by one, more eggs broke open. His brothers and sisters were hatching out too. Crack, crack. Do you hear all the eggs cracking? Yep, there come the brothers and sisters. The baby stegosaurus was very, very hungry. He ate whatever he could find. He ate crunchy cones and a furry, ferny leaf and chewy fruit from spiky plants. Each day he grew bigger and bigger, just like you, until he was almost as big as an elephant. You're not gonna get as big as an elephant, are you? No, I don't think so. Soon, the stegosaurus was so big he had trouble fitting through the trees. Look at him trying to get through the trees. And go, oh my gosh, he's too big. So he poked his head out of the forest to see what the world was like outside. It seemed safe enough. Can you see? <laughs> but not for long. Suddenly, he heard a roar. What kind of dinosaur is that? Do you know? It was an enormous allosaurus with enormous allosaurus teeth, and it wanted to eat him up. So which, which one is this? Stegosaurus, right? And there's the... Allosaurus. Is that how you say it or is it Allosaurus? I'm not sure. Quickly, the Stegosaurus swung his spiky tail. Thump. Uh-oh. It hit the Allosaurus right on the nose. The Allosaurus growled and left him alone. The Stegosaurus felt big and strong. Now he could take care of himself. But even though the Stegosaurus was big, there were much, much bigger creatures around. Stomp, stomp, stomp. You can do the big dinosaur stomp, right? The ground shook with giant footsteps. Stomp, 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 stomp. Are you stomping? A whole herd of, uh-oh, Diplodocuses, is that how you say it, was marching across the plains. Luckily, they only ate leaves, not stegosauruses. So there's the big, huge, how do you say it? Oh, okay. I knew you'd know how to say it. They were bad. The world was different when dinosaurs lived. It didn't really look like this, did it? What would it be like if they were still alive? They would block the roads and trample on cars. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? And what else? 
people would run from their gnashing teeth. Ah, look at the lady pointing her umbrella at his teeth. She's scared, isn't she? Would you be scared if you saw a dinosaur in the road? I would be. Maybe it's just as well that only their dusty old bones are left at the science museum, right? And there's a little boy like you looking up at the dinosaur. Did you like that book? I like you. See ya.